ETS Praxis Test Preparation Advice to Pass the Praxis 2 Now. Passing your Praxis Test and becoming a certified teacher isn't just a job, it's a profession that means you'll be held to a higher standard in the community. The problem is Praxis 2 test has little to do with your ability to be an outstanding educator. Heck, many test takers have been dedicating their lives to successfully teaching our next generation of young people for years. Now the law decides you're the problem and you have to pass a test that has little to do with the curriculum or even the aptitude to be a good teacher. Worse yet, the Praxis 2 has the ability to derail your entire teaching career you've worked so hard to achieve. All the years of demonstrating to hundreds if not thousands of people in your community you're one of the best educators around could be quickly flushed down the drain. If you don't discover the key to defeat the Praxis 2 test at its own game, a recent state court decision declared that by virtue of their leadership capacity, teachers are traditionally held to a higher moral standard in a community. Adams v. State of Florida, 2001. That's why when you're gearing up for the Praxis test preparation, you won't just see a few sections on ethics within the education profession you'll practically be bombarded by it. So let me hand you a few tips that helped me crack the code of my Praxis 2 test just a few years back. Lucky for you, the Praxis 2 hasn't changed a bit and my covert tactics work even better now. In recent years, ethics has played a big role in some of the most important industries within the country, from banking to entertainment and everything in between. More schools and states are devoting plenty of man hours to studying how ethics can influence important decisions and processes. The same process has also found its way inside the classroom. And if you want to pass your Praxis test, then you better become familiar with the major principles of ethics of character education. Praxis test examples on character education. The makers of the ETS Praxis test want to ensure that potential teachers understand that there is indeed such a thing as universal ethics and principles. That's why you'll encounter a lot of the same principles over and over again within your Praxis test preparation. And these principles aren't just words on a paper. They should be a code that every certified teacher vows to carry out within their profession. So what are these principles of character education? Get ready to severely chop down your Praxis to exam learning curve because these principles will see you through even the toughest Praxis test examples. The first principle on the Praxis test emphasizes that teachers should promote core ethical values that make up the basis of a good character. A teacher should define character by modes of thinking, feeling, and action. Teachers should use comprehensive and highly effective methods for developing and maintaining character development. These methods should be comprised of expert approved techniques and strategies. A teacher should do their best to create a school atmosphere that's caring and nurturing. A teacher should provide students with plenty of opportunity for moral action and development. Teachers should strive to provide their classrooms with a challenging curriculum that suits learners of all styles. Teachers should always strive to encourage self-motivation. A teacher should include the school staff and faculty within their mission to develop a caring and nurturing academic atmosphere. This means that a school should understand, outline, and adhere to universal core values and ethics. A teacher should engage family members and the community within this mission of character building. Finally, a teacher should always evaluate their efforts to develop students of good character. To learn more about best practice test tips and to get your free report, go to www.teachingsolutions.org forward slash praxisii.html right now.